welcome back to the Eevee Legacy Challenge. So I did a thing, as you can clearly see here. <laughs> um, I was just really sick of the old house with no lights in it. It was too big for us to afford. And yeah, I'm just terrible at building. So I really wanted to get like a nice looking house off the gallery. This one is called The Late Summer Starter, and it's by, I'm not sure how to pronounce this username, but I'm gonna try, schnuck01. <laughs> but this creator makes some really awesome houses. You should definitely check them out on the gallery. I think all of their stuff is base game. Like, I know they don't use CC, so even if you don't have all the expansions and everything, you can use pretty much all their builds, and they have some really amazing ones, so yeah. But, <laughs> as you can see here, we have just $77 left, and guess how many beds we have? Um, I'll tell you. Zero. So, <laughs> yeah, I kind of spent all the money on the house. It's, it's like, I'm trying to break the habit of building a house that's so big that we can't afford anything else, yet I ended up buying a house that is so expensive we can't even afford a bed or, like, bowl for the dog or like anything well we might be able to afford that let me check but i think after like one day of work we'll be able to get like the necessities so oh what is this we have some stuff in here we can sell yay i'm glad i checked at least we can get a bed i hope but um oh yeah this is only 25 dollars so cool <laughs> um since there's like no furniture in here, I'm like trying to figure out what everything is. I'm assuming this is like the kitchen. I'm just gonna put this here for now, I don't even know. But yeah, I always do this. Like I, I just want more than my Sims can afford and I end up getting something that's way too expensive for them. But it's really cute and at least there's a little room for expanding and stuff. I did buy lights for every room. So that, does this one not have a light? I could have sworn I put a light in here. What happened to it? <laughs> Anyways. Let me just like put what I can in here without using any money cheats and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so this situation may or may not be even more pathetic than the one we were just in. <laughs> like, yeah, the house looks better, especially from the outside and we have like lighting and stuff but all we have for furnishings are a dog bowl which we should probably fill a toilet and a bed like that's it <laughs> and it's still the same like worst quality bed ever and i know this is terrible but I think with just like a couple days of work, we'll be fine. She might just have to like go to the gym to deal with her needs for a while. And I mean, she could just go to a restaurant or something to eat because we don't even have a fridge. <laughs> but yeah, I guess love day is still not over until 2 a.m. But she had the worst love day ever. I feel really bad. <laughs> um, Things were just not going well for her the entire day, like with her friends, when she tried to get romantic with Salim, he accepted a little of it, but then he just started getting all offended as usual, so yeah. We're gonna have to try later. Oh, look at this. <laughs> of course, this is what I was just trying to say. Love Day was awful. Love Day really wasn't up to Eva's expectations. She didn't get to participate in enough of the tradition she likes. Maybe next year. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Luckily, a year goes by really fast in The Sims, so we'll have a chance to do that pretty soon. Oh, it's the neighborhood brawl today, which um, Eva is definitely not going to participate in that because it's just not, it's not really her thing. <laughs> Um, let me see. Does she have work on Saturday? I think she might. She does at 4 p.m. So she's starving and everything. I think we'll just like send her to the gym so she can shower. <laughs> so sad. But yeah, that's what we have to do right now. Here we are at the gym. Just gonna take advantage of those free showers. <laughs> um, where are they at? Are they... Upstairs, maybe? Yeah. 
Oh, she was already going to do it on her own. <laughs> what does she want to do? Leave a note for someone. She keeps wanting to do this, but we don't have a family and we don't have a family bulletin board, so she needs to give up on that. What else does she want to do? Go to work feeling inspired. That may be hard to do with our current living situation. I'm sorry. I know it's my fault. <laughs> it actually wouldn't be a bad idea to get her into fitness a little bit because... She's going to be baking and cooking a lot, so she might end up gaining weight if we don't get her into fitness. Oh, she's still feeling sad about that love day. Me too. Um, is there anywhere to, like, eat in this gym? Probably not. Uh, we could just, like, go into San Maishuno, maybe? And get some food from the food stand? Okay, we're in San Maishuno. Um, I'm not sure which neighborhood Salim lives in, but if he happens to show up, that'll be cool. Um, let's get her a hot dog. I know he lives somewhere in San Maishuno. I can see him living in this, I think this is like the art district. I can see him living here, but I'm not quite sure. He might live in the spice district. But anyways, we're just gonna have her eat her hot dog, feeling all sad. <laughs> Poor thing, oh my god. And I'm gonna try to cheer her up today. We're gonna have a better day. Um, what can we have her do after this? She does have work at four, so that's a thing, but I mean... I thought that was Salim for a second. Maybe we can like hang out with Gavin because he's cool too and I'm still considering him. If you guys have an opinion on which guy she should be with, let me know because this is the first time ever where I've had a sim and I'm not 100% sure who I wanted to be with. Because usually when I have a sim, I already have like this idea in my head of exactly like what kind of guy she needs. And I thought that was Salim for her, but now I'm just not so sure just because it went so terribly yesterday <laughs> but I think I'm gonna have her hang out with um, Gavin and we need to get this fun up because she's just been miserable for like days oh she's not even friends with Gavin yet um, there he is okay he's on his way and she's just looking at some painting he'll probably show up over here yeah there he is so let's go talk to him. Fight. <laughs> That's not happening. Let's ask him for advice. Maybe she like has a crush on Salim and she's asking Gavin for advice about it. Oh. Oh my god. Now he's asking if we want to go to his house. Should we like totally ditch Gavin right now? Ah! Uh, stop making me make decisions. I literally have to choose between them both right now. Like, Salim's been kind of a jerk, but now he's asking her to come over, so... Ugh. Should I bring Gavin? That would be so awkward. You know what? Let's just go. <laughs> Sorry, Gavin. <laughs> We're here. Hopefully he doesn't try to fight her. She's going to ask for advice. Let's see his house. Oh. I don't think we've been to his house yet. Um, <laughs> I guess he lives in one of these really nasty kind of apartments. Let's have them come chat on his couch. Oh, he's got the hookah thing going on. Not surprising. His TV is on some, like, suitcases. <laughs> Honestly, I can't really even diss his house because ours is completely empty. Oh, looks like she's expressing some disapproval of that hookah thing let's have her like complain about her problems or not what is he doing why is he always trying to read when she's trying to talk to him let's have a deep conversation uh okay Salim See, like, <laughs> sometimes he just ignores her when they're hanging out and it bugs me. Oh, Quark. Just flatter him. Yibsy. 
All right, he is still single. That's good. Should we try to be flirty with him? She did you see before though? She was like, she was thinking about how she doesn't like bubble blowers. So I think that's like a loss on his part. <laughs> Like, he lost a couple points there with her. Um, let's, I'm just gonna go, like, real slow with this whole romance thing. So we don't freak him out again. And we obviously don't have time to, like, go on a date because she has work in less than an hour. But at least we can build it up a little bit. I feel really bad for Gavin. I think I'm gonna have her, like, make it up to him. Looks like he's more into it today. I still really want her to go on a date with him and Gavin, at least. And I really want to get um, Zoe and Jay together, even if they don't end up, like, staying together because Jay is non-committal. I definitely feel like they would end up dating. What is he doing? Oh, my God. Now Mitchell's inviting her out. If he turns out being like her soulmate, that's gonna be hilarious because <laughs> he's like the guy that I totally did not see her with. Oh my god. He's not rejecting her, thank god. Okay, she has to leave for work, so. That was good, at least we made some progress and he wasn't being as mean to her <laughs> okay dude she has to go to work now okay i'm having this glitch where if she's not home like when it's time for her to go to work she's just leaving work and like not actually doing anything and making one dollar so <laughs> that's terrible um don't know what's going on with that, but I can't, like, I don't have an option to, like, send her back to work, so I don't know what else to do. I guess we'll just have to have her go out and maybe make it up to Gavin for, like, ditching him before. So let's do that. Let's just invite him over, I guess. So, yeah, this whole work thing is weird. I don't know if that's just like my game or if everyone's having that problem, but oh, is this set as the front door? I have to change that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why is the mailbox right here? Um, let me fix this. I think we lost a door. I did read when I was downloading this house that I'm supposed to put um, move objects on before placing it, which I did not do. <laughs> so that might be why that happened, but anyways, I was really counting on that freaking paycheck today, <laughs> but she went to work for one minute and got $1, unfortunately. So looks like we're still not gonna be able to get anything for the house but whatever. A couple days of like slumming it up and going to the gym to shower isn't gonna kill her. <laughs> Let me um, just talk to Gavin, kind of apologize for abruptly ditching him. Let's try to actually become friends with him because she's still not friends with him. And fight. <sighs> That's gonna be a fun holiday for my not so berry challenge because Peppa would definitely fight someone. Eva is definitely not gonna do that, but <laughs> he seems like really upset. Oh, he is uncomfortable. Let's tell an unbelievable story. Try to cheer him up. Oh, he's he is cheered up. Propose a crazy scheme. Flatter him. Maybe if we become closer with them, that whole, like, talking up another sim thing will work better. Because last time I tried it, they were just dissing each other, which is weird because they're all, like, roommates and friends. It makes no sense why they hate each other so much, but... Oh my god, Evie is, like, miserable right now. What's wrong? You can, like, go to the bathroom. <laughs> Sometimes the pets are just dumb on here. Like, they just won't 
do what they need to do. She still really wants to mate, which is interesting. Go potty. He's going to jog. <laughs> uh, all right, well, whatever. Can't really get mad because like we ditched him. Um, let's give Evie some affection because she definitely needs it. Let's do kiss. And brush. Maybe if we play with her, our fun will go up a little. She's literally been in like this state of just total misery for the past probably three parts. Because we have nothing for her to do. Like we don't have a computer, we don't have a TV. She's not getting any woohoo, so we could use her phone, but that takes forever to build the fun thing. Let's do that. At least that's kind of building it. Oh, Gavin's here and he just picked up the poop. <laughs> Thanks. It's going to be stuck in your inventory for a while. You can sing about the neighborhood brawl. Is that what I really just saw? <laughs> oh, I almost- should I do a bold pickup line? Let's just do it, let's just do it. She's not technically dating Salim. Oh, he liked it. Let's just see how this goes. Flirt. Like, if it ends up being more natural with him, then I'll consider him. <laughs> Um, pick up line. I'm still scared to like do the more extreme ones. It seems like he's into it. Oh my god, there's already the first kiss option? What is going on? Um, I'm kind of speechless right now because this is going so well. I couldn't invite him to stay the night. Mm, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's. I feel like she's not the type that would like do that that soon. Oh my God! What? She's actually having luck. Oh. <laughs> what? <gasps> um, <laughs> is she the one who initiated this? I can't even believe this is <laughs> happening. <laughs> like, I literally don't know what to say right now. Um, Evie is, like, running over here to protect her or, like, join in in the fight. <laughs> I'm just so confused. Why is this happening? I know it's like the neighborhood brawl day, but they were just flirting and now they're straight up fighting. Uh, is it like a play fight or are they like legit fighting? That's what I want to know. Oh, he just beat the crap out of her. Did that like bring their relationship down or what? <laughs> I'm literally speechless right now. <laughs> um, okay. Wait. Practice fighting? So was it was it just like a practice fight? She it says she won, but she definitely did not win. I guess it was like a play fight. Okay, we're gonna go with that because I have no other explanation for what just happened. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think between Gavin and Salim or maybe your team Mitchell, I don't know. <laughs> but let me know what you think because she actually had a little bit of luck with both of them today. So maybe she does have hope. <laughs> I was getting a little worried there for a minute, but I guess she does have hope. So let me know in the comments which guy you want her to be with. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.